Talking about the new year, just being around the corner. Now is the time to do our New Year's predictions for 2021. You can be as outlandish as you want, gents. I mean, we'll have a few of those crazy uh, predictions at the end of this segment. But kicking things off, I'm going to say we are going to have the best Premier League title race in history. I believe, I truly believe that there are going to be five or six teams in this heading into the last week of the season. How crazy it is, how tight it is at the top. Yes, Liverpool are top right now, but I do think there are a few more twists and turns because Andy's mentioned it before. All it takes is another couple of injuries defensively, and then they are really, really struggling. So they've got to be lucky with injuries. But for me, I think this is going to be the best title race in Premier League history. And I think there's so many other factors here with certain teams not in European action. So they're going to be pushing hard. Um, that's my big prediction for 2021. Expect chaos at the top of the Premier League table. Nick Mandola, what do you uh, predict for 2021, mate? I'm going to go to the international game because we haven't seen so much and there's so much excitement, rightly so, with uh, the United States men's national team. And I'm going to say the U.S. men's national team rivalry with Mes Mexico, El Tri, is going to be restored. It's going to go to uh, a Dempsey-Donovan-type level where you are into yeah. very good generations for both nations. And USA will take the upper hand this year. Listen, we're going to get a gold cup. And it's the U.S.'s turn after going every other for the last five tournaments with Mexico. Um, the Olympic qualifying, they're in the same group, which means they'll play in the group stage and very well could play in the final after both maybe qualify. The first CONCACAF Nations League final also sees both of these teams involved and potentially meeting in a final. And then finally, we get to November and we get a World Cup qualifier. So between those four groups of players, there's, a, and Greg Berhalter saying he's going to use something different for the Olympics than he is for World Cup or, or for the Gold Cup, you might see 75 new heroes or villains between the two border. Uh, I, I'm just so excited for this. I want to throw a shout out south of the border. Um, a friend of mine, Jose Perez, uh, I went to the snow game in Columbus that USA beat Mexico two to nothing. We both had had a few too many sodas and he came up to me and he, he randomly swapped jerseys with me. So I have a Blanco Jersey in my basement. He has a U.S. Jersey in his basement and we talk before every game. And this year it's going to go in our corner, Jose. And Nick, I can see you have a festive scarf on there, but it kind of looks like you're up in Mexico. Uh, if I'm it, is, it is not. No, listen, this uh, <laughs> from MLS, when I covered the MLS cup a few years ago, there Toronto you go. and Seattle up in Toronto. It was Good a memories. gorgeous night. Good memories. Um, Andy Edwards, what is your prediction for 2021, mate? <sighs> I, <laughs> I halfway believe this. So I'm halfway predicting it. And partially, I just want it on the record in case it happens so we can go back and I can say, yeah, I called that at, at the end of 2020. Arsenal are going to be in an actual relegation battle. And, and, and I don't say that for jokes. I don't say that to be fun. It, they are so lost. They, they, they don't have an identity. They don't, they're, they're not playing for each other. They're not playing for the manager. They're each playing individually for themselves, for what's best for them. There is no collective buy-in. There's no, there's no spirit in that team whatsoever. Um, and, and that's made abundantly clear every time somebody gets a red card, which seems like it's every single game these days. Uh, you know, they, they, they've not won in almost a month. They are, I think what four or five points just clear of the relegation zone. They're not going to go down, but they are going to absolutely finish closer to relegation than they will to the top four of the season. And for a club, the size of Arsenal, Arsenal with, with the revenue um, and, and just the, the profile around the world that they have, that is, that's unthinkable. It is. So a wild 2021 coming up and I'm just going to finish with one wild prediction I think Christian Pulisic is going to lead Chelsea to Champions League glory. Now, I'm just going to chuck that out there. Again, it's on record, so we can look back to this. But I think he's been brilliant in recent months. If he can just stay fit, I think there's a huge uh, 2021 coming up for Pulisic at Chelsea because he really does look at home. So let us know your predictions in the comments. Um, I'm really intrigued to see what you think is going to happen in 2021 because who knows? It's going to be a wild few months out there. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe. Make sure you subscribe to watch highlights all season long and always join us every weekend at 7am on NBCSN for Premier League mornings. Plus, 
make sure you subscribe to Peacock Premium as well, where you can watch exclusively live 175 games and same-day on-demand replays of all 380 Premier League matches as well.